everyone, and thank you for joining the fifth semi-annual career choice event. Um, first, we'd like to thank C Public Charter School for allowing us to have this event here. We'd also like to thank our panelists for coming out today and helping us with this program. Um, the career choice was implemented in, 20, in 2010 with the purpose of steering African American students towards degrees and careers in the areas of science, technology, engineering, and math. This program further serves to connect students with professionals in the areas of STEM so they may make a more informed decision about their future. We're excited to present this year's program, a panel of the group of professionals who are compassionate about helping their community grow. Each of these panelists has volunteered their time to assist in making this program a success. Before entering our discussion, I would like to thank, again, the C. Public Charter School, our council person, Ms. Kanisha Bill Diggy, as well as the Tuxen Research Refuge, which is based in Long Island, for joining us today. But this, at this time, I'd like to invite a representative from the Tuxen Research Refuge Center to come and speak, say a few words. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, my name is Nell Bolotino from the Tuxen Research Refuge, which is a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service facility. Water Department of Interior, and we are right up the road, just up the Baltimore Washington Parkway. Um, I'll tell a little bit about Fish and Wildlife Service careers, but first let me tell you a little bit about what we have. And we, do. we have a large visitor center with exhibits about wildlife, wildlife problems, wildlife research, and we have lots of lands people can enjoy wildlife recreation. You can people come out and hike and go fishing and enjoy the environment. And we have a lot of education programs for all ages. So if you're interested in any of those, um, let me know. We can get the information. You can visit our website. We're also co-located with us is the USGS Patuxent Wildlife Research Center, which is the US, also a Department of Interior um, facility. And they are responsible for all kinds of wildlife research. Um, this is where they raise hooping cranes for release back to the wild. We've done a lot of work with environmental contaminants. They have chemists, toxicologists, all kinds of career opportunities, um, and the Fish and Wildlife Service does as well, from biology to people involved in administration, uh, librarians, uh, veterinarians, uh, animal care people. So there's a huge variety of career opportunities between the two agencies that um, people can participate in. And I have a good bit of information out on our table in the hall about career opportunities. For some of you young people, we have a Youth Conservation Corps in the summertime for ages 15 through 18. Um, you do get paid minimum wage, and uh, you work outside all day. And, but it's a good way to get to know the environment, some of the problems in the environment, and get involved in land management activities. Um, and it can lead to careers. Um, we also have internship programs and volunteer programs. Um, Mr. Messier in the back is one of our volunteers, and we have student volunteer, older student volunteers, as well as people of all ages, but giving their time to us and doing all kinds of things. Everything from writing articles, to landscaping, to helping with trails, uh, removing invasive plants, you name it, all kinds of opportunities for volunteers. And the interns uh, are basically full-time volunteers, and they get uh, a stipend um, as well have them basically around for usually three months at a time. So you can get a feel for whether you like that kind of work. We have educational volunteers and we also have biological volunteers and internships. And there are quite a few other uh, employment programs that the service is involved with. Thank um, you. Uh, if there are any questions, I'd be glad to try to answer. And again, I'm very happy to talk to people afterwards and give you detailed information on how to apply for the Youth Conservation Corps or some of the other programs that the Fish and Wildlife Service has. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we're going to have the panelists take a few minutes to give a brief introduction. So we'll give you some background about them, and then we'll go into our panel discussion. So we'll start with, uh, I guess, ladies first, Ms. Washington. Would you like to use the mic? Yes. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. My name is Marcietta Washington, and I am an engineering manager at NASA headquarters here in Washington, D.C. 
I, I began my career down at the Kennedy Space Center working in the shuttle program. So that's what I always like to call my baby, the NASA shuttle program, although we have now retired the shuttle program. That is what I did for most of my career. I was an engineering major at the University of Central Florida way back when and was fortunate enough to be able to be hired by NASA right out of college. So I've done my entire career with NASA. I transferred to headquarters a few years back, uh, some 20 years ago, working with the space station program, the International Space Station program, working with the Russian folks, and it's just been a wonderful, wonderful career for myself. Uh, I always encourage young people to do science and engineering, science, math, science, math. You can never have too much science. You can never take too much math, <laughs> particularly if you want to be an engineer. But it has been a passion for me. I was very fortunate to land in a career that I enjoy. So going to work is not like going to work because I enjoy doing what I do every day. The people are another thing, but I love my work. Good afternoon. My name is William Gordon. I, I'm a professor at uh, Howard University in biology. I uh, started my career with undergraduate training at Tuskegee University, uh, then went to New York because I thought there was lots of opportunity to be had there, so I took a job only to learn that uh, a lot of jobs are dead-end jobs, and so decided to go back to school and, and earn a PhD at the University of Minnesota. <clears throat> then I came to Howard University, where I've been ever since, although I've taken a bit of time off, and uh, some of that time that I took off was quite valuable because I had the pleasant and, and most profitable experience of meeting Mr. Harry Washington. He and I worked together at the National Science Foundation working on exactly the kind of thing that he's doing now. And so I can tell you I'm not the very least surprised that he's doing this because this has been his heart for quite a long time. Uh, even when he worked with us at, at NSF, he, he, he envisioned doing something like this. So I'm so very proud of Harry and, and more than happy to help him any time that I can. My uh, area of expertise is called plant physiology and biochemistry. But what I really do, which I think has a reasonable impact, I, I teach introductory biology to incoming freshmen at Howard University. And uh, the introductory course is really that, that, that very special course that pretty much tells students whether or not uh, biology is, is, is something that they're going to be able to use for a career goal that they've set, many of whom are looking forward to going to medical school. And so I'm very happy to see the lady here from, from Wildlife because I think all too often students do not broaden the scope of, of possibilities for careers. And, and it seems to me that, that one of the things that we do want them to do is to start looking at other options, things that we have not traditionally done that do offer tremendous amounts of opportunity for careers. Um, beyond that, I, uh, I just do the very best that I can to teach. <laughs> good afternoon. Uh, Dr. Davidson. Is, uh, good afternoon. My name is Lauren Davidson. Uh, I'm a veterinarian currently at the National Institutes of Health, the National Institute of Dental and Craniofacial Research. I started my career, um, well, my love affair with veterinary medicine and animals started at a very, very young age, um, probably around two. <laughs> but um, as far as educationally, I did my undergraduate uh, education in animal science at Cornell University in New York. And then afterwards, I went to the University of Florida, College of Veterinary Medicine in Gainesville, Florida. Um, and I afterwards decided to, to do an internship. Rather than go directly into practice, I did a one-year internship at a specialty clinic uh, where I worked with veterinary specialists in dermatology, surgery, internal medicine, ophthalmology, etc. Uh, and I thought I was going to be an ophthalmologist, a veterinary ophthalmologist, but uh, I decided to uh, go into emergency medicine for a while and I came to DC and worked in practice for regular general practice dog and cat medicine. Uh, after that I decided I probably wasn't going to be a general practitioner forever uh, and the opportunity arose to moved to the uh, government sector and I worked with uh, the FDA and I became a primate veterinarian where I worked with 
uh, various species of primates.